And before I begin my next story, I want to show you a short clip. It's disturbing. I advise viewer discretion. What you saw was the destruction of the Bamiyan Buddhas. The structures were from the 6th century. They had survived a millennium until the Taliban destroyed them in the year 2001. It was called the most extraordinary attack on religion and culture. The Taliban had allowed journalists to fly down to Afghanistan to witness this demolition. The world watched in horror, slammed the terrorists for obliterating the structures. 2021 marked 20 years of the tragedy. China is commemorating it by starting its own assault on Buddha statues. Let me show you an image. This is the Kadze Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. It is in the Chinese province of Sichuan. Now take a close look at the image. The red dot shows you a building. Now let me show you a second satellite image. Here the building is missing. The missing building was a monastery. The Garden Namya Ling Monastery, it had a three-story statue of Buddha. China demolished it. Chinese officials sent vehicles and tore the structure down. It happened in the Drago County. And it's not an accident. It's not even a one-off event. In December 2021, China destroyed a 99-foot-tall statue of Buddha. It happened some 900 meters from this location. The place also housed a Buddhist academy. China removed its prayer wheels, burnt down the flags, and forced the Tibetans to watch all of this. It began on the 12th of December, continued for nine days. Chinese authorities rounded up local monks and Tibetans living in nearby towns. They were forced to watch this assault on Tibetan belief and religion. Monks and nuns were then expelled from the academy. Their houses were demolished. When some Tibetans protested, Chinese officials beat them up. And all of this was happening in our free world. This is how the statue reportedly looked. And this is what the place looks like now. It's empty. The story does not end here. China then arrested some Tibetan monks. They were accused of informing people outside the country about the attack on the Buddha statues. Some monks were taken into custody during the demolition itself. Reports say China wanted to quote unquote teach them a lesson. A lesson for what? Staying rooted to their tradition in a free world or not bending before China's forced sinicization. China reenacted what a terror group group did 21 years ago. The Chinese state became the new Taliban. It brought down Buddha statues and called people to watch it. When it happened in Banmyan in Afghanistan, the world protested. When it happened in China, the world looked the other way. Sure, there was the odd statement, but that's all. Like this one from the US Office of International Religious Freedom. This is what they said. We are very troubled by reports of escalating PRC actions against Tibetan Buddhists. Well, we are troubled too by China's actions and the world's inaction. How is China getting away with all of this? It first persecuted, persecuted Uyghur Muslims and ethnic Turks in Xinjiang. Beijing put more than one million people in concentration camps, raped women, harvested organs, and the world watched on. Did not do very much apart from slapping a sanction here or there. This global apathy has now strengthened the dragon. It is fearless in its assault. It is targeting the Tibetans. Reports say, and I'm quoting, local Tibetans are not being allowed to hang prayer flags outside their doors. Their fireplaces, which are sometimes used for purification rituals, are being destroyed. The Chinese police are now beating Tibetans on unreasonable excuses, such as not having a proper expression on their face. Some Tibetans have fainted and others are being made to stand outside in the cold weather and are then released without explanation. This is what is happening in China. This is what, what is happening in the world you and I live in. First the Uyghurs, now the Tibetans. China is going after ethnic minorities. Who, know, who knows which group is next? Where are the human rights groups now? Where are the superpowers, the upholders of democratic values? Some are hiding behind a diplomatic boycott of the genocide games. Others are pretending it's not even happening. So these may not be the last of the Buddha statues that China has demolished, unfortunately.
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.